Hello and welcome to another one of Inside Aging's uh, video uh, interviews. Um, and this continues on from our Future of Aging um, topic, which is an agenda topic for us. Today, we're, we're speaking with the team behind uh, this year's winning entry for the James Dyson um, Award. And this is for an invention that was developed by a team of um, people out of uh, RMIT University in, uh, in Melbourne. So let me introduce those people to you now. Uh, we've got Manit Singh. Welcome, Manit. Hello. Uh, Fergus Davidson. Welcome, Fergus. And we've got Marie Carrick. Welcome, Marie. Thanks for having me. Right. Um, exciting times for you guys. Um, Airlift is the invention, um, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big deal to get acknowledged in, in what's a fairly high-profile award. I mean, James Dyson's obviously the, the person responsible for the, the, the Dyson vacuum cleaners, which, which sort of revolutionised vacuum cleaner design, I think, back in the 90s. And this award is obviously his legacy, I suppose, recognising the next generation of uh, inventors. Um, so again, congr congratulations. Uh, what, what can you tell us about um, Airlift um, and the design of Airlift? Well, um, the Airlift, it's a low cost pneumatic patient transfer device intended to help um, community healthcare workers when they're working unsupported in the community. Um, so its predecessor is the slide sheet. And we realized from speaking um, to some people in the industry that this often exposed workers to a level of risk if they weren't in a position to use it with another um, healthcare worker. So um, we set out to come up with a solution which made this a little bit safer. Terrific. Um, and how long have you guys been developing this for? I think it's been over a past year now, like um, more than a year, I reckon, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and winning an award like this, I mean, what what do, you, what do you think this is going to mean for you? Is there is there mentorship that comes with the the win? Uh, I mean, what do you think that'll mean? So absolutely, our next step is to properly make like a scale prototype. Um, and James Dyson just ba basically gave us the means to do that as well as the as the grant um, that comes with the award. Um, apart from that, further it gives us a platform to to get some public exposure to the project. Which, which basically helps us propel, propel this project forward essentially. So yeah, it's, it's um, quite, a bit, quite an honor to be recognized by such, by such an esteemed organization. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with the Inside Agents carried some stories of late uh, to do with the RMIT Cisco uh, Health Trans Transformation Lab, which is in the university. Did you guys work quite closely with that team or, or are you actually part of that team? No, we actually didn't have any involvement with the RMIT Cisco team. Um, we did this as part of a design studio as part of our undergrad course. Um, that's how it started. So it was just um, in our studies, but yeah, we haven't had any involvement with that team. Okay. And um, it's really interesting that, uh, I mean, you're all, all quite young, obviously, and and, and starting your, your journey as entrepreneurs. Uh, I mean, that's really interesting for us because the aged care industry, which is who we obviously publish to, there's been a lot of talk of late that entrepreneurs and uh, startups, uh, you know, whereas we, we may have had a lot of them at some points in the last 10 years, there just isn't many at the moment. Um, I mean, what, what's your view? I mean, uh, you know, you're coming into the disability aged care support services area. How do you feel about that, that sector? Well, personally, I think throughout the project, we really discovered how much, how much uh, room for design there exists in that space and how it is really promising for people like us that want to, say, work in healthcare um, to also be involved in designing for aged care or home care. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I hadn't personally heard of those, that those suggestions, but for us, uh, we've all talked about it at length, obviously, about uh, the many the many design interventions or device changes to devices that could occur in this space that um, we that are really exciting. Um, we also think that we well, have heard that there's been a bit of a push within Victoria um, and also some coming from RMIT, obviously, um, surrounding med tech and medical device development um, and, I guess, innovation, which could lend itself to aged care as well. Mm. So, yeah. 
I mean, on that note, uh, I mean, obviously you've, you've had this big win for Airlift. I mean, is there any other things you're working on that you might like to share some information about? <laughs> Generally, the next step would be just a prototyping. So we are just looking forward to that for now. But apart from that, not, not much really. Okay. Uh, um, this this video will, will obviously go onto our website and uh, there's a lot of aged care providers, uh, you know, residential aged care, but also home care providers who will be reading this story and watching the video. Um, I mean, are, are you looking to work with uh, providers to maybe uh, trial or, or embed the solution at this stage? Mm. Um, absolutely, that's the end goal. At this stage, we're a little bit off being able to roll out a trial, um, which is why it's very exciting to get this grant so we can really get the ball rolling. But we will absolutely be looking for people to trial the product if we, if we manage to get to that stage in the future. So yeah, keep your eyes out. So yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean we will put on the story a, a contact um, email for the team, and 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 that way uh, you know aged care providers can can uh, can get in touch with with you, and you know hopefully um, you know start to start to really uh, you know show what this this invention can do because uh, I mean as as you would be well aware, I mean the the health and, and the aged care industry in particular has a lot of challenges, and um, it's been often suggested that it is going to be technology uh, innovation that that helps fix some of those uh, challenges. So, is, is there anything else you'd like to add um, to uh, to the to the session? Not really. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to speak about the airlift. Maybe as a final question, what would you say to other entrepreneurs looking to enter this space? I mean, what, what have you learned over the last year or so? Um, you know, obviously culminating in this award win, what would be your, your advice to fellow entrepreneurs? Um, well, we'd say get feedback early, I think. Yeah. Um, we did this studio um, online in the middle of Melbourne lockdown. And one of our workarounds for not being able to be in the workshop, making things as much as we'd like to be, is that we made sure to seek feedback early in the stage. So we got in contact with industry professionals, community healthcare workers, home care, home care workers, um, from pretty much the start of the project to try and make sure that we weren't completely missing the mark um, and we were actually making design decisions which were going to help instead of inhibit um, the, the process essentially yeah leveraging their sort of expertise and um yeah the, the, like the amount of troubleshooting that they went through all their life in that in that industry Just, absolutely yeah working off of that extrapolating that into the product great and, and that feedback was that um i know you said get the feedback early but was it feedback that continued throughout the process were you going absolutely. back to people on an ongoing basis mm. absolutely it's it's like a um it's it's a, it's a two-way street. It goes with the project. So like as soon as you um, try and design something, you want to fine-tune it with, with the people and you want to talk to them about it. So it's essentially like a first-in-hand with the project. Right. And um, the, the community that you found yourself in with, you know, the, the medical healthcare community, was, was there other entrepreneurs or designers that you were able to interact with? Did you have a good ecosystem of, of people to especially you mentioned lockdown were you able to sort of connect online and, and build that community well um that was where we we reached out to there's a there's a few groups locally about um medical entrepreneurship on facebook for instance mm -hmm. so that was where we went initially and people were really willing to sort of get involved and feedback into the process um yeah it seemed that it's, it, there seems to be communities there if people want to get involved with them. Absolutely. Terrific. No. Well, thanks very much to all of you. I, I really appreciate your time today. And, and congratulations once again on, on such, uh, such a, a big achievement, not just with the product itself, but the, uh, the award wins. So congratulations. Thanks so much, Sean. Thank thanks you. very much, Sean. Yeah. Yeah.